Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Fasan and I'm back at it again with another video. Excuse my voice. I really wanted to come to you guys and film this story time. I really hope you can hear me because my voice keeps going in and out. I got my handy dandy water. So, y'all ready for another story? Because I got a story to tell. All right. So this is about the most ignorant, annoying man, not even a man, he's a boy, that I've ever met. I hope you watch this so you know how stupid you sounded. So, oh, sorry, I thought there was a bug in my room, I was about to say, hold on, pause, wait a minute, you're not allowed to be in here. Anyway. So basically, I go to Humber. I go to school at Humber. Can't help it. Can't fix it. Can't. Oh, we're in a different situation this today because I couldn't set up my filming area. I'm I'm exhausted. Humber is killing us because we're out of school. Humber is killing us. We get 16 assignments a day. I promise you. I promise you. I'm losing my mind. But I go to Humber, and one day walking into school, this happened last semester yes last semester because it was it was warm outside so i was walking into school i keep playing with my hair i don't know if it looks good i don't know what's going on i've been wearing a bun for like ever so i took it down but okay back to the story so i was walking into school and i got stopped mind you this nigga was not he was not good looking he reminded me of Kodak Black. Or what's that little Lil Uzi? Lil Uzi with the with the porcupine hairstyle going on. I don't know what's happening on, but that's exactly what he looked like. Super dark skin. We love our chocolate. We love chocolate, but it wasn't his skin color, it wasn't his haircut, it wasn't his face. I see people for people. I don't discriminate if you're ugly or if you if your attitude sucks, that's where I draw the line. Ooh, cool. So he stops me in the hallway and says, Excuse me, miss. The most polite. Excuse me, miss. You are beautiful and I, I admire you and all these sweet things and oh, um, gorgeous and everything and all this stuff going on, whatever. So I said, Cool. Alright, alright. Thank you. And I keep walk. I proceed to keep walking. Side note: I'm editing this um, video like right now. I forgot to mention that he freaking saw me the day before and like knocked on the glass as I was walking into school, but I was ignoring him. I didn't answer him. Yes, I'm actually. I didn't answer him, and it looks like he came back the next day to see if he could see me again. He low-key is soccer. Walking to the elevators because I have to go meet my friend to finish a project. I gotta go meet Jamila. Y'all know Jamila. Shout out to you, sis. You know what I'm talking about. Right? I was supposed to meet her to get some work done because that's what we used to do when we get to school early. We don't have class until like 10 o'clock. We get to school at 8 o'clock and we sit there and get work done, go to class. You do what you gotta do. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes. So he asked me for my number, and I'm like, you know what? I just want to get rid of him. So fine, give him my number. Didn't expect him to text me. Didn't expect him to call me. Didn't expect nothing out of it because I forgot about him. He walked away. I legit got into the elevator, got upstairs to the third floor, sat down in front of Jamila. As as soon as I started telling her what exactly happened, my phone starts ping, 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 everywhere. So I'm like, nigga, you just left. You just left. Niggas don't do that. You just left. What are you texting me for? There's only one person in my life that's ever done that. One. Starts texting me, oh, it's meeting, you made my day, and all these sweet stuff. I don't even remember what he said. But it was just, oh, thank you. Um, so how old are you? He's starting to get to know me, whatever. So I find out that he's younger than me. Mind you, I'm 26. I'm not that old. 
he was like 24, 23, he was 23 because he was younger than Jamil. He was 23 at the time. He's 23. That's cool. That's fine. Cute or whatever. Alright. Um, but yes. He started to like ask questions. So I started asking him questions back because you know sometimes you just need a little sauce in your life just to stir it up a little bit. Just stir it up and it simmer a little bit. You know you like you like be a little bored. So I'm like, alright, this is my boredom kicking in. Let's ask questions. So I find out he's 23. Here's the biggest one. He doesn't go to Humber. Why were you at Humber at like 8 o'clock in the morning? You don't go to Humber. He said he was there waiting for a friend. Your friend's probably in class. Why are you waiting for your friend at Humber? So he's younger than you. He doesn't go to Humber. He's a security guard. He got two kids. Those are the four things that I found out through texting. He got four children. I mean, he got two children. Two kids. You're 23. When did you have time to make two children? I'm not saying, I'm not discriminating against you if you got two kids. You're 22, 23, 24. Do you, boo? But I'm just trying to figure out what is your motive in life. So he said he wants to go back to school. He's, the text conversation was amazing. He wants to go back to school. He wants to get his degree. I forgot what he said he wants to get his degree in. I don't remember. If I remember, it will be like here somewhere. He wants to get his degree. Everything nice, fancy, cute, and whatever. Cool, cool. Text conversation was A1. Pantalis. Everything was perfect. Alright, school day rolls on. Go home. And me and Jamila are sitting here on my bed. This is my bed. On my bed. Doing homework via Skype. Via Skype, because that's how we do all of our work. Um all of a sudden this man's like, Can I call you? So I said, Jamie, you cool with that? She said, Yes, put it on speaker. I would like to hear. I need to know what's going on with my friend. So I said, Alright, cool. Put it on speaker. And he just starts talking very speaking very sexual things like i don't know you why are you talking about am i submissive do i give head do i know you please tell me you're not just me you just met me you just met me why are you asking these questions the questions you should be asking are what's your favorite dish do you like to eat what is your favorite hobby? Not do you give head. Are you dumb? Who are you speaking to? Who are you speaking to? I really need to understand. He starts asking, what's your favorite position? Um, all these random questions. And Jamila's getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed. And we're just sitting here like, do we let this go on? So we agree. That we're going to let this continue. I think his Wi-Fi went out because he called me on WhatsApp. It was a WhatsApp call. It wasn't a straight call. But apparently, something's wrong with his phone or something. I don't know. Didn't make sense to me. He called me on WhatsApp. His internet cut out, and he called me back. And me and Jamie are sitting there like, let's see what this idiot has to say. Yes, you a whole idiot. So we started talking about, do you believe in marriage? started asking him like do you believe in the concept of marriage like, I'm trying to divert the conversation from anything sexual you don't know me nor my vagina nor my mouth my throat wall. you are not obligated to this body I mean I know you're from no way I mean I know you're from Adams we are accident sitting there for no man when you for really whenever the accent comes out it's real whenever the accent comes out then we get into the concept of what he wants in a wife stupidity 101 I don't think y'all ready for this bro. you ready he says his wife must stay at home cook clean wash take care I am pitted him and then he must come home basically he's saying you stay home, you cook, you clean, you wash, 
you take care of them you make sure the whole snowball down you turn this into that queen or whatever pick up the pity them from school drop them off for school do all of them and the things you don't go work you don't have a job you don't go to work he would like his wife to be a stay-at-home wife which don't make no sense because you're talking to a girl that goes to Humber. I go to school for a degree to use my degree. Me na sit down in no party house and cook and clean and just sit down the like one big lock. Nope, no, not I. Not today, not tomorrow. No. <laughs> Wrong one, brother. Wrong one. Then he starts to talk about how his wife must obey. This is where Jamila lost it and she hung up the phone. She's like, oh, call me back when you're done. Because this shit don't make no sense. Call me back when you finish. Because I can't stand him no more. I'm like, I really want to hear where this is going. I really would like to hear where this is going. So I sit there. I ask him more questions. He basically says that that is how his family has raised him. He's raised in some religion. I don't know this religion. I don't discriminate against religions. You want to do whatever you want to do. Prance around and worship rain, moon, and stars. Go right ahead. That's not my. That's not my prerogative. That's not my care. You do what you want to do. I was always taught to respect other people and not business about what they want to do because it's not affecting me. He states that he was raised in a religion. I don't remember what the religion is. If I remember again, right here, the religion. And this religion believes that women do not have jobs. If you know what religion this is, let me know because I don't remember what it is. Women do not work, them stay at home because that's how his mother was from his father. You stay home, they must cook and clean and wash. And this is a religion. This is his religion. Some kind of dark something. I forgot what it's called. It's like some phantom, some dark sin. I don't know it's Basically, he wants a woman from the 1920s. I don't see no 90s, 20s women here. My mother works. My mother cooks. My mother cleans. My mother washes. But she works. My father works. My father comes in. And he'll wash and cook and clean. Equal partnership. So what's the problem? That's what I was raised on. I wasn't raised on this foolishness of women stay home. And any dude that I talk to must not believe that I must stay home. Why can't you stay home? He basically was belittling me and telling me not just that you need to stay home, cook, clean, and wash. Basically, in his words, I can't put, I don't remember his exact words, but he was basically saying, Women are less than men. They mean nothing compared to men. This is his ideology and I don't understand it. He was basically saying that a woman must obey her man. I'm like, yeah, but I'm Christian and the Bible says a man who taketh a wife taketh a good thing. The man is the head but the women can lead. So where are you getting this from? Please explain. You can tell me because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But he was basically belittling women on the phone to a woman. So I said, you know what? You and your crisscross ideology and your dirty stinking ways them can go. From that day, I never spoke to him again. That was one day. That was maybe 12 hours maybe 12 hours mind you i'm not a feminist i'm not a full feminist but i do believe that women should have rights women should be able to voice their opinions and be heard he was literally arguing with me that women mean nothing he was yelling over me and i'm like you're not listening you know? you are basically having a conversation by yourself he was trying to convert me to whatever religion it was and have me believe that I must drop out of school and lose my degree and come live with him, a security guard. Well, he wants to go back to school, but he hasn't made the decision yet. What the hell? 
if you want to go to school, go to school. If you don't want to go to school, don't go to school. Don't tell me you haven't made a decision yet. Houseway. Houseway. I don't understand. You may not get it. If you get it, tell me because we don't get it. I'm really upset. And I don't even have a voice to voice my opinion. My story. I can't even get into what he said because it pissed me off that bad. And I don't want to get pissed off right now. It's literally like midnight. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Share with a friend. Let, let me know. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you know what religion that is because I've never heard of this religion. Don't force your ideas on me. I have my own opinions. I have my own voice. And basically he was saying I'm less than nothing. Who does that? But anyway, besides the fact, I couldn't even get into all of it because it's midnight and everybody's asleep and I don't want to get ratchet and get loud and get crazy and be annoying to wake everybody up, especially my nugget. So remember, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. But I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Zeus is. Talked out on me, baby.